Ladies and gentlemen, Mesdames et Messieurs, Signores y Caballeros, the DPA de facto linear microphone. Comes in a box, not surprisingly. Within the box, a gig bag case. Another, more robust and larger and firmer gig case. Inside the microphone, a mic clip and some documentation and some stickers. One sticker, another sticker which seems to show polar patterns. As far as I know, this is a super cardioid mic. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Uh, they don't peel off or anything, it's the whole, seems to be the whole thing. Well, quite a nice brochure, some information. Color photographs, frequency response and polar pattern for the back. You can get all this on the web anyway. Also it comes with a microphone clip, which I suspect may be a K&M, as a lot of uh, the manufacturers use one version of the K&M mic clip. There are two versions of this microphone. Uh, there's a linear and there's a one with a slight presence peak. There was an offer to be able to borrow, try them. I saw in a magazine. And I got in touch and I tried, but uh, it took a month or so and nothing was happening and they didn't get back and then they did. And not dif not uh, DPA themselves, but the company in, in England, probably their, uh, what do you call them, distributor. So in the end, I plumped for the linear and just bought it. Um, DPA have a very good reputation and I was, it's a condenser, it's a cardioid, super cardioid condenser. We'll have a look uh, close up in a little while. I did some research before buying it and I went for the linear because I was hoping for linear there's very various information got to be a little bit careful with it one of them says 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz i like the sound of that but that turns out to be not quite the case as we'll see just a note about the accessories that come with it this case um, it's good for shipping you could use it for gigs i guess the it's quite well protected here with thick foam but that isn't particularly thick through there and neither is this the mic does is able to wobble around inside don't know Of course, they also provide this, which is quite thin. It's got some padding. An issue I find with it is it isn't really not quite big enough. Uh, the, the mic does fit in it. You have to manipulate a bit there. Maybe it will loosen. Might do. That's quite some protection. The issue I find is, I, I could do with more protection, is that getting it out when you uh, stretch it a bit to get in, it gets quite tight there, at that end of it, and you have to tug and then it guts up by the zip. 
comes out quite suddenly and there's a chance of dropping it. I use this. Except I can't find it. There it is. I use a larger Bayer Dynamic case which zips all the way around and also that just dips it up <laughs> opens to the side slightly as well so the mic fits very comfortably in there and very easily job done could be smaller but that's fine getting it out is not a problem whatsoever no not much chance of dropping it even this I, I often use these uh pencil cases foam pencil cases and it, they even come with a a picture of myself. How about that? Even this is an easier fit than the one that came with the DPA. It comes out more easily. So again, uh, like with the Earthworks, uh, I would... Uh, am I going to use this or am I going to use their, their, their case? This is a bit big and bulky. And I don't think it really gives the protection I might like. I'd like nice custom cases. No, I said Italian leather before. Why not if you're spending this much money? A really nice uh, case you could turn up to a gig and people might say, oh, hmm. <laughs> and it works properly, fits properly, gives good protection. And maybe let's do away with the uh, these um, kind of cases. That's my feeling. Uh, I end up not using either of them. What the manufacturers say, this extremely linear version of the de facto vocal microphone is engineered specifically for audio engineers who prefer setting their own unique impression on the final sound. I think what they're saying is they give you a flat microphone. If you need to shape it, you shape it. However, there's a point about this later on. Uh, lots of stuff. Uh, accurately replicates the singer's voice transparently, consistently and thrillingly. We all want that, don't we? Anything else? The capsule's directional pattern defines the entire preparation. Mic features a robust three-stage pop. The product offers the following features. Extreme linearity. Extraordinarily natural sound. Perfectly uniform cardioid directionality. High separation, extreme SPL handling, means you can shout into it. Low handling noise, sleek design, Flexible adapter system. These heads can come off, not, not the grill, well, the grill comes off, but underneath that, that head can be used on various uh, radio transmitters, I think. So you can use the head on um, wireless mics. The polar uh, frequency response, which should come up on the bottom of the screen, having a look at it, very, very flat across the center from about 200 hertz, a little higher, maybe 250, up to 10 kilohertz. And then a little bit down to 15 kilohertz and then drops off fairly sharply up to 20. My concern, as you may know by now, is the other end, which is already dropping off at around 250 hertz and then drops off very steeply. I didn't realize this when I bought it. Perhaps I should have. Anyway, uh, so I wonder about that. I mean, if it's linear and it reproduces the voice faithfully, it's not going to reproduce mine faithfully or a lot of other men. Women can get away with it, but we'll see. Fit, finish and feel. We'll have a look at a close-up coming up. Feels very nice. Again, rather like the uh, Shaw KSM-8. Metal, but with a coating that's quite grippy, but not rubbery, which I like. You know where it is. Not much chance of dropping it, whatever you do. Well, depends on what you do. Looks very nicely made. Whether or not you like the look of it, that's up to you. Let's have a close-up and uh, see what we think. 
Here it is in uh, all its glory. Quite a fine grill. The grill unscrews. Very nice quality thread. There's the capsule with uh, not exactly a mesh, but something over the top there. This bit comes off. I haven't taken it off. There is uh, layers of mesh I can see here and on the top part. I like the idea of mesh rather than foam. Seems to be, from the feel of it, some foam around this part. This bit does come out for cleaning, etc., etc. Again, feels a very good quality. Compared to the Earthworks, slightly larger or longer. Feels to me about the same weight compared to an SM58. Longer again and slightly larger looks to me. Yeah, n not much in it, difficult to say. I need to weigh them both. What does that mean to you really? There it is, very nicely done. Seems to be very well uh, manufactured, engineered. But of course, we're more interested in the sound. I've plugged her in and uh, also the Earthworks and the SM58. We're on the road at the moment. Just uh, acclimatizing my ears to what the road has to offer. And I'm going to switch the road off and go to the, the DPA de facto. I'm on the DPA de facto. What do I notice? Smooth at the top, I notice the extension and smooth again. I think immediately I noticed, I think, maybe it's my voice, but a little bit of a honk, honk there. There's no particular reason why that should be from looking at the graph. As I bring it closer, some proximity effect, uh, but not, I can tell the bass is missing. That alters with me the balance of my voice, because I can hear, because it resolves all that at the top but it hasn't got the authority. So it alters it alters the way I sing as well because uh, it doesn't encourage me to go there because there's nothing to be had. If I bring it in for... Uh, you do get some proximity, but there's not... There's not the weight. There's not the real weight to it, which that, when you look at the graph, you can see. I've been using it today. That part, using it today, using it, using it today... Seems fast up there, fast and clear. I feel a little bit of uh, something around there, which might be because the low end isn't supporting it, so that's left a little bit more exposed. So you wouldn't see that in the graph because it's simply that the low end isn't there to balance it because the voice has, uh, even on uh, low notes, you've got all sorts of frequencies in there, Har not only harmonics, but all these noises as well. So you get rid of that and you alter it. Pops, S's and breath. Peter Piper, Peter Piper, Peter Piper, Peter Piper, Peter Piper, the owl and the pussycat, the owl and the puss, the owl and the pussycat went to sea in a beautiful pea green boat. They took some honey and plenty of money wrapped up in a five pound note. The owl looked up to the stars above and sang to a small guitar. Oh, lovely pussy, oh, pussy, my love. What a beautiful pussy you are. Pops are well controlled. S's. I think they're fine. It's very well revealed. So if you have got if you have got a sibilant voice, but then you can EQ that if you need to. But I don't I don't feel there are any peaks there that are that are causing any problem. Breath. Who do you think you're fooling? 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 You think you're fooling? Compared to most other mics pretty good. Possibly one of the best. 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 Very good. 
you do need to have some technique, so you can't expect the mic to do everything for you. But in, in those aspects, very good. Proximity, polarity, and handling. Proximity, we've done a bit. You get some bass boost. Tends to be a little bit not real. Polarity. Here we are on axis there, moving around to the side, moving around to the side, moving around to the side. There we are on the side. Big reduction on the side. So I'm coming around now to the back. Now remember this is hypercardioid, so we've got some leakage there. Nothing spiky it seems to me. Quite inoffensive. Coming around to the side, coming around, and they say that. Coming around to the side, very good rejection at the side. Very good rejection at the side. Coming around, quite a reasonable sweet spot. Not as uh, even as the uh, Shaw KSM-8, but uh, pretty good. So uh, that works. Handling noise. Well damped, but of course it hasn't got the low end. Whilst we're on it, then let's uh, compare it with the, uh, the other two, just speaking. Said the duck to the kangaroo, My goodness, how you hop! Over the land and water too, as if you never would stop. My life is a bore in this nasty pond, and I long to go out in the world beyond. Oh, give me a ride, oh do, said the duck to the kangaroo. Earthworks, said the duck to the kangaroo. I can't remember what they said, but there I can hear, yeah, oh, when we, mm, when we get there, there's a lot more bass. There's a bit more, so you need to be a little bit careful with this. I like the mesh. I've said this before. Actually, I don't know what this has got, but I suspect foam. Uh, anyway, you know how I feel about this one. Yeah. SM58. Said the duck to the kangaroo. My goodness, how you hop. Over the land and water too, as if you never... As we know from the SM58, you've got a lot of that. As if you never would stop. Yeah. That needs some managing. There's a hardness, we know that. Um, but I have it here for comparison. It's suits a particular genre this I think doing a few notes doing a few notes doing a few notes natural enough doing a few notes doing something up here doing something up here doing something up here I'm doing something up up here I'm doing something up here doing something uh, uh, doing something SR40V, doing something up here, doing something up here, doing something up here, doing something. Back on the DPA, doing something up here, doing something. A little bit more of that going on. Doing something up here, yeah, Makes it breathier low down because there isn't the support. Back on the SR40V. Doing something up here on that do 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 do. The weight is there. That's quite a high. Well, not a low note, but already the support is there. Speed, clarity, and extension. Speed, 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 clarity and extension. Speed, clarity is there. Extension, difficult to say. You got older ears. They don't go to twenty kilohertz. Possibly, I had mine tested. Yeah. Was all right, but uh, um, probably not 20 kilohertz. T speed, clarity, and extension. Speed, clarity, and extension. Likes and possible improvements. I like the pops are well managed. The breath is well managed. I suspect it's this grill. Could be the capsule as well, of course. Uh, good weight. Looks subjective. Not rock and roll to me. Mm, Earthworks is a bit more rock and roll, but it's up to you. Uh, the accessories, give me something nice to turn up to a gig with that's functional, works properly, and has a little bit of, reflects the uh, the cost of the thing. And don't give me things that um, I probably won't use. Maybe it's just me, but I don't use the Earthworks stuff, and I don't use what this comes with. It's just not really not practical. So, uh, 
give me something classy, please. Or make it an optional extra. I'd pay for it, I think. Not for this one, probably, because I'm it's not doesn't suit my voice, but uh and also I'd like another version. I'd like a true linear version that goes, as I say, from fifty hertz, fifty, fifty five, maybe a bit lower, with the proximity, let me control it, and goes all the way up and is linear within the range of the human voice completely. Other than that, it's obviously that aside, a top class condenser microphone. Try it on your own voice, see if it works. And it's got all those wireless capabilities as well. Very well respected manufacturer, very nicely made. Though I do notice, I'm gonna be fussy and why not at this price, you, you won't be able to see it, but just where the mesh there meets this band, there's a little bit of something not quite fitting, like one of the wires of the mesh is sort of sticking out a bit rather than tucking under just a little. You won't be able to see it. If I zoomed in, you'd be able to see it. Is it a big deal? No, but it'd be nice if it wasn't that way. Maybe you're poor, maybe you have wealth, maybe in demand, or maybe maybe on the shelf. Whatever your situation, there's one thing you should do. Reject all automation and let me work on you. I'm Mr. Manual. Oh, the man is not my dog. I like the manual, I'm going to manipulate you. It's guaranteed to make you smile. Hey! They call me Mr. Manual on a manic no man. They call me Mr. Manual on a manic no man. I like to manually manipulate your guarantees and make you smile. I was a manic no manipulate you. Guarantee to make you smile. I like to manually manipulate you. Guarantee to make you Smile. El Enigma.